the safety aspects new zealand is the best you can camp you can do a uh, um, tent like i mentioned earlier paddle for jet power they have scary guys Whoa. I'm still going for another walk around here if I find something else. I'll certainly show you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Sophie, we have finally managed to reach this hookah fall and uh, it's just few people here around here and there's a good side, it's like they got a toilet facility here because it is essential when it comes to um, bulk number of tourists and uh, they really need to take a piece of something like they can just walk in there. So, so that's a good, a good thing, isn't it? It like, sounds uh, weird, but it, it's not. Uh, and there are some people jogging around here and uh, this place is really amazing and this is one of my biggest dreams to come here and take photos around here because Hookah Fall is a Hookah Fall is a very very common and very popular um, all around the world very almost every people in the world knows if people want to come to New Zealand one of the favorite attraction is Hookah Falls because the because of the color I don't know what color is now but it color like blue or green I don't know because my friends on Facebook almost every friends who uh, who been studying with and who been uh, who or I know here they come here they take photos and post on Facebook so it's a great hook of all guys you don't even need to pay a single buck to visit this place there's so many attractive places around here the, the clearly says you should not park your car beyond 6:30 oh shay <laughs> this is, uh, <laughs> you see the car guys oh my goodness <laughs> i just finished it I, i'm just going through my dreams guys I mean, it's like it is like uh, it is like um, making sure myself that i'm doing what i really need to do like you see the color guys <laughs> this is crazy guys this place seems like Ideal place for river rafting, but it looks agile, guys. It looks very agile. It's scary, guys. Whoa. <laughs> so this is the reason why people like to come here it's very amazing guys beautiful i must say it's beautiful i don't know what is uh, uh, what is the chemical reaction behind the color because that place uh, where the river comes from doesn't have that color and where the river reaches i don't think they, 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 there is a color change but when it hit here Especially around here, from that part to this part, it seems like uh, it's it's like a fluorescent green. It is completely fluorescent green, guys. This is a, this is a spot where almost every one of my friends comes here on Facebook, uh, who are rhinos in real life. Like that's crazy, isn't it? Oh, I'm so thrilled and so satisfied about this. So this is one of the most, you know, like a milestone part of my journey. I'm so happy about it. Um, it's like um, most attractive part of this journey. I'm, I don't know how to explain my happiness. Uh, this is crazy, guys. And this color literally makes me like uh, I'm, I'm living in a virtual reality or something like that. It's like. Uh, I never seen experience. I never seen something like this before, guys. Uh, there are some canyon sort of stuff around here. Canyon, you know, the canyons, like Mount Canyon. So uh, I would like to go there, but 
This was my primary target, guys. Primary target. Literally the primary target I really wanted to do, guys. Woo! That was amazing. And they got some... Uh, you can hire a bike from there, guys. Like, uh, you could hire bikes, you know, like the push bikes. Like bicycles, you can hire from that place uh, on the way. Um, and you can uh, biking do biking around here. Because uh, wherever you go, uh, according to your needs, you know, um, <laughs> necessity is the mother of invention, right? So they, they have a lot of activities, including the biking stuff. So you can do the biking around here. So you can see uh, the entire lake. It's a rainy day, but my my wish has come true. It's like a dream. It took four years to come here. You see the agility. I'm still going for another walk around here. If I find something else, I'll certainly show you guys. So, I'll show you around me. So much fun, guys. There's another sport where you can literally define the color difference. There must be some sort of uh, chemical reaction happening over there. It is literally fluorescent, guys. Literally fluorescent because I don't know how much the camera can project, but... See? Ah, yes. So over there, it's normal. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guys, it's because wherever the water is like making the foam and all stuff, you know, it's like wherever you see this water is making foams and it's like crushed, not crushed, I would say like a, like a mixer range, it's mixing or it's like a, wherever the pressure is there, wherever the flow is more, so the water makes the fluorescent color. It's, it's, a, it's a phenomena guys, it's a phenomena. It's like, there you go. Like I mentioned earlier, paddle power, jet power. They have this kind of activities here. I must say, if you do that kind of thing here, I will never forget this experience, guys. Because it's like, you will never forget this. If you ever come here, it's an unforgettable experience. Topo is well known for basically this one. Topo is beautiful. Topo got a lot of things to watch, visit view and um, walk around but you can do anything but this is the main reason why people come to Topo that's why I came here first my first destination my first aim was to come here and uh, have a look around here beautiful isn't it this is basically a man-made forest guys and it's uh, it's a walkway too so you don't need to worry about any of the animals even no syndicates not even a syndicate guys you are pretty safe here. From the safety aspects, New Zealand is the best. You can camp, you can do uh, um, tenting and do anything around here. Everywhere in New Zealand, even in the middle of the forest, you are safe. There are some foursome rats and all stuff, but they won't hurt you, right? And there is a hornet sort of thing. It's like a fly and uh, honeybees. But they are not going to attack you for no reason. So don't try to approach them. But, Normally, you don't see them every, everywhere, you know, like... So you're safe. You're pretty safe in New Zealand, guys. This literally made my day, guys. I don't know how to explain. This is the best day in my life, guys. Like, I've never been to this before. I've never been. It was amazing. My... The GoPro is running out of charge. It's nearly 18% battery. And I'm trying to uh, charge it up in the car because I forgot to get the adapter and I couldn't recharge last night because I was tired and I couldn't I couldn't even edit or upload any video. I upload a short video but couldn't upload but as soon as I hit the place the next destination I probably edit and uh, upload one of the videos and uh, yes uh, if you come to New Zealand if you're coming through Wellington, uh, it's better to buy a camper one. Or if you got enough money, please uh, buy a 
used car or something that's the best option oh, there, i've seen a lot of people doing biking you know like uh, they do biking around here um i noticed they are doing uh, well because with the weather is not favorable it is a fact but if you are so at you know desire you could it's not that difficult guys so the people there's so many people here oh so passing through my passing through my dream guys the experience here is mesmerizing guys <laughs> i have the same experience this is a kind of experience when you travel around guys because for instance my own country in india a lot of uh, especially my parents they haven't even seen kashmir they haven't even seen the himalaya haven't seen sahara desert you know we got everything there we couldn't even explore india then how can we explore the world so but one day i wish to take my parents here i know it's not easy but <laughs> i wish i could but you know it's not practically that easy it is possible but i still need some time this kind of things making your day i mean you can have a you can live up another couple of years thinking about your touring experience in new zealand i'm luckily have a got the opportunity and time to travel around new zealand now let's go to another destination maybe uh, where should i go i'll try to go somewhere around here again and then i will go to rotorua so let's go guys if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and uh, make a comment please i like to know your suggestions guys um and th uh, thank you so much for the recent comments made by people from switzerland and we are as part of the world even from my homeland kerala uh, india so uh, my own nation india people please don't forget to comment please don't hesitate to comment i'm really expecting your comments guys it's literally motivating me a lot show some love in the form of comments guys please and uh, hope you having an amazing day this is charlie bo here don't forget to subscribe thank you so much have a nice day bye bye